That's the intro, everyone. Hi. Hello, and welcome to Off the Mango. Hi. Something just went bleep bleep bleep. I know, I keep hearing a bleep bleep bleep. Hmm. So, I've got some questions for you. Oh, no. And I have a challenge for you. Oh, no. You can only answer them with one word. No. So, question number one. What is your full name? Hannah. (laughs) Incorrect. (laughs) And what do you do? Yes. Really? Um, what do you do for a living? Shoes. How do you get 900 Pikachus on a bus? You Pokemon. <laughs> I'm done. And that is the questions, everyone. Yay! <laughs> so the first thing today we're doing is called the Drawn Out Blockbuster. Oh. Um, we're going to get two random objects. Um, our challenge is to mash those two things together. Okay. And that is the beautiful next big blockbuster, and we shall pitch that to each other. Okay. Is that all right? Okay. That's Let's get fun. some paper and pencils. Let's go. Wires everywhere. Magic. Oh, I know. Nailed it. The magic of editing. Okay, so I need to give you two random things. Okay. Oh, that one. So you got your two things? <laughs> yeah. So there's my two. Right. And create, I guess. Drawing stuff, 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 drawing stuff. Stuff. Okay. All right. So shall we swap sides? Yes. So. So what words did you get? I had daisy and leg. <laughs> daisy leg. Daisy leg. You've clearly gone for daisy a person than daisy a flower. Yeah, I did tr- stop leaving a flower. But I see. I couldn't <laughs> put anything together with a leg. So what is the story? What's this franchise all so, about? A woman named Daisy goes along her life, her merry life, and um, her leg is stolen in a freak accident. Stolen? <laughs> yes. There's a heist <laughs> and a freak accident. And it all goes wrong, so she then goes on a journey to find her leg. <laughs> because she needs that leg. Lassie leg. Yeah. So it's like she can get it reattached for somehow. Yeah. yeah. Magic. I know she's just like tracing like a, like a you know, like ice chill truck. Yeah. It's like it's in that fridge. Yes. <laughs> I'm ma- thinking maybe it ends up in Scotland for the welly wagging competition. <laughs> <laughs> just because that would be quite funny. That's where like, the finale you fling, happens. You fling a welly and a leg comes out. My leg. <laughs> This leg has won first place. Yay! <laughs> okay, so that's Daisy Leg. That's Daisy Leg. Prepare for my thing. Worm beak. Worm beak. Worm beak. That's what I got. It's a worm and a beak. It's a worm with a beak. So And does he go around his life? So what I've figured is birds that have beaks mm-hmm. eat worms. With beaks. Yes. And Wormbeak is the guy between the two who's trying to make them live a better life. It's like, oh. hey, I'm part of the worm community. I'm part of the bird community. We need to work together because this ain't acceptable anymore. It's, it's like, like the bee movie, but for worms. And do we want to bring the bee movie back? Never no, that's why we're having Wormbeak instead. Well, as long as he doesn't fall in love with a human. He's only a little worm, so they that's wouldn't be fine. interested. That's fine. What would be a, an opposite, a bird with like a worms i don't, I don't know. know i i don't think i want to draw what the opposite thing would be that would look no i don't even think i could imagine what that would mm. be a worm bird may just be a naked bird with like worm skin <laughs> <laughs> okay now we are doing the brand repair store many brands have become out of touch in recent years and we're going to pick some brands and we're going to bring them into the future and make them radical again for the kids. Like a different Jim will fix it. Yes. But less Why did you go for Jim will fix it? <laughs> That's the only one, isn't there? Who else fixes things? I mean, there's like 60 minute makeover. There's many do over shows. Oh, yeah. Good point. The brand that I'm going to put forward to bring forward is LucasAid. LucasAid. Yes. Lucas-Aid. Because all their adverts are, like, really timid. There's just nothing exciting about it. It's all sport-related. It's just like, 
juice. Plus, you need energy for stuff. Like, what if you're... Obviously, my brain is going... What if you're, like, absolutely knackered after, like, a night out and you're very drunk, but you need that final kick of energy to, like, actually get with that, that guy be, that you've pulled home? That's not the way I was going to go for it. I was going to go, like, an advert where it's like, oh, I need to get home. And they're like, drink a Lucasade. And then, Sonic. I wasn't going for the Cokes at home with the boys. Oh, no, no. I'm always coaxing at home with the boys. Nice. Like, oh, I just, I just need that final kick. And then it's like, ah, oh, Lucasade. <laughs> And he's like, ready it's to like, go. Who needs alcohol when you have Lucasade? Mm, turbo boosted sex drive. The flavour. <laughs> 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 okay, so that's my one. That's my, your one. What's, what's your brand? What oh, brand do what you want to fix? What brand should I save? Gold. Um, Vodafone. Vodafone. Vodafone used to be cool, but they've just been boring yes, recently. They need to up their game. Like... O2's had a bit of fun. EE's got Kevin Bacon. Although I am very sick of EE. We could fix EE as well. Yes. Just get rid of Kevin Bacon. I'm fed up of him. Do I don't know, want to watch Footloose most, because I'm fed up of him. His most recent adverts, it just feels like he's being forced to say things. Yeah. Like a gum, like behind the you camera at gunpoint. say this! Like, mention the 5G. Mention the 5G. Mention it or your kids will <laughs> die. Yes. <laughs> to be fair, we could go on that, but like for Fo- just for shots. Vodafone, but like have a celebrity, but then have someone in the background go like, "You will say we are the best," but I'm on O2. You will say we are the best. You will say that our Wi-Fi is brilliant, but your Wi-Fi is fucking shit. You don't get signal in my area. Yes, but you're gonna say it's we're good. great. <laughs> who, who could we get for Vodafone? Who would be the best Vodafone representee? Someone quite red, I think. Someone quite red. Yeah. Maybe me with my beautiful skin. Oh, these <laughs> lovely COVID spots. Yes. Red. Um, you could get girl in red. Who that? Or a girl in red. So if we're not that, then who else has got like red in their name? I was just thinking more of a ginger person. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> There's many of those, many of those. Many of those. Uh, who, who's Ginger? Who could be? He's not red, but Billy Connolly springs to mind. I don't know why. Him on like a Vodafone advert would be oh quite God. funny. Yeah, that would be good. I don't want a beer. <laughs> I don't want a beer. <laughs> okay, so that's how we fix them. Not with any decent ideas, just slamming a celebrity in there at gunpoint. Yeah, but also we could pick a different colour. I think they should go for a different colour. Ooh. Maybe like a blue. A blue or a yellow. They're all like blue and they're all kind of blue. Yeah, I suppose it's just maybe green. E E's like a bluey green. That's a blue and a yellow. Oh, that is that? Um, I guess. What about pink? Mm, pink? But then would men be insecure and not on a shop there? Well, that's their problem. This is true. Twenty twenty. Get a gone. Get a gone. Get a gone. <laughs> Get it gone, the new I'm phrase. struggling with that word. <laughs> We're getting very, very dark. We are getting very dark. We are very dark. Should we, we migrate? Like or anything? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my phone. That's going to be real deep, bad. Deep in... No, my, mine's not even on. <laughs> deep in the forest. A little girl. Who didn't know how to function? This girl's name was Hannah. (laughs) Hannah's a non functioning girl. I am very non functioning. Very non functioning. Very non functioning. (laughs) 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 Like the panic duck noise. (laughs) Okay, inside. (laughs) All is bright. All is bright. Okay, we are inside now, and it is time for the childish box off. Yay! So it's time to throw our best insults at each other, um, but it is to a theme, and the theme is gardening. Yay! Are you prepared for? I am prepared. Would you like to go first, or would you like me to serve? You serve. Me serve. Yeah. <laughs> They say every rose has its thorn, but you're just thorns. Oh. Funnily enough, my first one had to, was to do with roses thorns oh, as well. <laughs> okay. Mine was, you are more annoying than a rose with hidden thorns. Ooh. That is some gossip girl really savagery. annoying. <laughs> you both pick up and it's like, ow! Okay.
Gardening takes patience, commitment, and a lot of fun. So I take it you don't garden. <laughs> you, sir, there we go. are a pile of useless manure. Youch. Mm-hmm. I mean, yours like. Yucky. Very useful. If you were a flower, you wouldn't need a gardener's care as you're already pretty watered down. (laughs) 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 I'm sorry. I mean, my third one literally is just ho. Okay. I'll take that. But I guess if you were in a garden and you fell over, they they would just go, your ho's down. That sounds like, you know, your fire's down. Your hole's down. Your hole's down. (laughs) I imagine that greenhouses terrify you as they show an opportunity for real growth. (laughs) (laughs) I like that one. (laughs) I really like that one. I might have to use that at some point. Yeah. (laughs) This one is very similar to the, your mum is so whatever. It's like your hair is so what so messy, you need a scythe to get through it. Oof. Oof. Well, that one hits real home. L'Oreal. L'Oreal. That, that really hurt. <laughs> Cause we're worth it, are we? We're yeah. Worth it? We're kind of worth it. Put in a little bit of effort, get bored, and run away. We're priceless because we have no worth. Oh. <laughs> that is, that is. Okay, my final serve. Oof. Did you know? That there are over 11,000 different types of grass and none of them like you. Oh. I went for proper childish right Probably. at the end. You could have gone for like an all of them have told on you. Oh, oh that's so much better. You're such a grass. Okay, Right, Hannah. my final go, my final conquering attempt okay. is nobody likes to go near your mind. It is wilder than the secret garden. <laughs> Even oh, a therapist would go there. <laughs> Only a therapist would go in there. Not even a therapist. <laughs> They'd be like, no, nope, fuck that, sorry. That's, be, that's above my pay grade. <laughs> that therapist is therapist. Oh. Oh, that was a really weird noise I just made. That's okay. Oh. Um. So. Do. S- so, yeah. <laughs> so, our final one today is Job the Movie. Oh. So I have a random job generator. Oh. And whatever that gives us, that is our movie. Okay. I'm excited about this one. So our job is our oh, leaflet distributor. Leaflet distributor. Now the that, movie. <laughs> that is incredible because you don't know what you're going to expect when you knock on someone's door. No. Like knocking on people's doors around here is terrifying yeah i've had i had a lady the other day open it and she opened it like a tiny little bit and it, all i could hear was doop, doop, that doop, could doop. that could that could such be an indie film just like what like a, like a, just going around as like i have to face the dogs the oldies everyone yeah. although you do get to if someone's trying to look for what you're trying to like ask like oh can i have this back or something yeah and they're like yes let me just find it you get a nice little nosy and then i saw someone had a cat flap in their wall the and it was a big wall. cat flap I was like, what kind of huge, chunky cat are you getting in? <laughs> so Luther Distributor is just, it's just his insight into the local community. Yeah. But he could stumble across something that he's not meant to see. Ooh. And it could either go like murder mystery. Mm-hmm. Or he's then just fucked up for life because he wasn't meant to see that. I think, I think seeing something that he's not meant to see, like a crime thriller thing, mm. mixed with comedy would be quite fun. Other than like a surprise penis. Yes. <laughs> I'm no one wants going. that. No. People online stop sending them to people. No one sends them to me, surprisingly. Nobody fucking enjoys your dick pic. It does not look good. It does not look nice. It looks fucking gross. Stop it. <laughs> End now. I'm cracking down. <laughs> Literally, if somebody sends me a dick pic, I'm putting a vice on your nuts. Back to leaflet distributor. Leaflet distributor, not surprise penis. He sees somebody you see somebody a dead body in the corner Ooh, or just like a limb that's just oh an odd limb yeah that's creepy and then in the news the next day someone's gone missing it's like mm, i saw their arm and instead of like reporting it he decides to do it himself because he like he wants to do something fulfilling yeah. in his life it's like a really weird misfits 
Yes. I've been watching Misfits recently, so I'm like, that kind of vibe of just like, what the fuck are we doing? We're going to try and do it anyway. Do do leaflet distributors have friends, or are they just like a lone wolf that get given random like stuff to give out? And how do they get this stuff? Does it just appear one day? I know some Like leaflets Santa is... Claus, <laughs> but leaflets. What some a people, shit Christmas. Some people get them as jobs from like the post office or like a news agents. Like a um, paper boy? Yes, they, they, they sort of go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. So it could be a little boy that just sees the servant. Oh God! And he and he goes and he goes that route of like I'm not going to tell the police or I'm going to solve this myself. That's almost like a crossover between Inspector Moon, which was like a kids show. Mm-hmm. Um, oh God, like 10, 15 years ago. And I just remember this Scottish boy, and he was like, "Look, a twenty pence piece." <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's cross between that and the film um, "What I Did Last Summer." It's got like David Tennant in it. Oh, and Billy yes. Fucked up film, Where mate. they set fire to... to their granddad. <laughs> yeah. He just dies. And they're like, we're not going to take him home. We're going to do it himself and give him a Viking burial. Uh, too late, but spoilers. That's <laughs> no, fine. Don't, don't watch it. It's a great film. No, I was scarred for life by that film. It's touching. It's not touching. It's warming in a real weird way. Yeah, fire. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Something that sounds dumb. I've lost my notes. Dunzel Washington. Nice. I'm schmort. How do you outro this thing? I say thank you for being here. Thank you and good night. Thank you and good night. This ba-da-ba. was the Hannah Lewis. Ba-da-ba. I was. Um, 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 I am a mess. Hannah the mess. The class below Eaton mess. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm better than Eaton, thank you. At least I'm not, you know, corrupt. (laughs) Oh, you're so lucky. I just clicked on the generator by accident and they put actor the movie. Oh, God. Let's not. Let's not. That's like, you could just film my life. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do. You mean failed actor the movie? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I think you could turn to you for that. Oh.